for some reason it's difficult just to establish that there's something wrong so for example women who have had repeat infections and they keep going back to their doctors and saying that there's something not quite right this is what they say i was told there was nothing wrong that was one what one woman said another person said he implied it was in my head so remember this is somebody who believes she's probably got a urine infection and she's been to the doctor perhaps they've run some tests and things are not coming back as they should and sometimes that can happen you know you have symptoms that look like an infection the doctor does the test and he says oh this is normal so somebody had that experience and her doctor said or implied that it was in her head another person said i was given only three days of antibiotics and then i couldn't see the gp again <clears throat> the fourth comment the dipstick was negative the dipstick is the urine test i'm going to talk about it a little in a little in a few seconds so this lady says the dipstick was negative so i was ignored and then the last comment i have here the urine culture was negative so i was told there was no infection so the urine culture is another test so this is some um comments from women sharing their experiences challenges that they had when they've had trouble with urine infections and the tests weren't demonstrating or weren't reflecting their own symptoms or their healthcare providers weren't being sensitive and so they it was a really unpleasant experience for them so that takes us very nicely into urine tests so somebody has U uti symptoms okay guys please like the video please share your comments we're talking about urinary tract infections we're trying to just explore this condition, shine a little bit of education and awareness for people. Um, it's not something that you should skip away from because you may have a UTI. And um, if you're not, if you've not had it by the time you're 24, you might have one when you're older. It's good to know why it might happen, what you can do to reduce your risk of it happening. It is, we are seeing it a lot more often and it potentially can lead to serious illness. So whether it's for yourself or a family member or a friend or, you know, it's good to be aware of these things. Okay, so we're talking about urine tests. So you've got your UTI symptoms. Say, you know, yesterday you started, you noticed that, oh, when you go to sit on the toilet, it's a bit, your sting, you know, it's uncomfortable when you pass urine. Or as some people say, when, they, when they're passing urine, they feel some pain towards the end of the of the emptying of emptying their bladder different types of symptoms so you're not sick 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 but you know that there's something not right then by the following day you start going to the toilet a bit more often and then you notice a little bit of blood in the urine or you notice that your urine looks a bit darker so it may be brown it might be red you notice that something's different and then you decide okay i'm going to come and see my doctor your doctor hears you out you talk about your symptoms and they say okay can we get a sample of your urine so we can test it so we're talking about the uti test the most common test is the urine dipstick and that's what you can see oh, this old dipstick you can see only has two panels and more commonly we have um sticks that have six seven different panels because they can measure for things like sugar they can measure blood or they can detect blood sugar and um, other chemicals and um, signs of infection or cells suggesting infection in the urine and so on so you have quite a few panels on the stick the stick is that white um, little piece of paper that works like a universal indicator and um, that you can see in the corner on the screen so it's simply a test strip that we put into the urine to show if there's anything abnormal and like i said we can pick up abnormal um, um, levels of things like sugar or protein pus or white cells in the urine and other chemicals similar to using the universal indicator paper to test for acid or alkali and it's quite easy to read so it's something that you can actually get yourself over the counter or from shops online you can buy it have at home it can be useful for somebody who has frequent infections um so that you can check you know what's uh you know if whether your symptoms um are suggestive of a urine infection sometimes you know we have online consultations and if you don't feel ill or you don't, you're not so ill that you have to see the doctor face to face it might be useful to say well i've dipped my urine and this is what it shows but let's not digress too far the other test and at the moment is the best test or gold standard for detecting a urinary, urinary tract infection is 
culture of the midstream urine and your doctor will commonly say oh we'll send off your urine sample to the lab or laboratory so they can culture or they can test it they can do laboratory tests so what they do in that instance is a, a more, more extensive test they will use a microscope to examine the urine um, and they'll be looking for any germs in the urine but they will also do something um called culture which means that they will incubate that urine sample they will get they'll put that urine sample that they, you provide and they will grow <laughs> they will grow that incubate like they'll bake it if you like or put it in on a special cult, a special substance whereby that allows whatever germs are present in that urine to multiply and grow so that they can identify those germs and then at the same time identify which antibiotics can be used to treat them so the, the, in other words they can detect which um, antibiotics those germs are sensitive to so that's essentially what is happening when we are culturing your urine sample okay so that culture is important like i said it's a gold standard or the best diagnostic test for urine infection for now and um, usually the culture to help us detect which germ is present in the urine and which antibiotic is it, it is sensitive to it's actually a very old test um we started using it about 75 years ago um so it's quite old um, but more recently there have been concerns that maybe this test is a bit outdated we need something more up to date for making accurate diagnosis of utis and the reason that we're saying that is because sometimes a woman will come in with uti symptoms but her culture even her urine dip might be negative and her culture might be negative. And if you remember, I talked about the experiences of women. So for example, the last one said the urine culture was negative. I was told there was no infection. So what's going on? Is the, is the test still fit for purpose? These are the questions that we're having to ask. Um, and there are a few reasons why the test may be negative, not necessarily because the woman doesn't have an infection. Perhaps that test really is not sensitive to the type of germ that she has. And so it's only picking up certain types of germs and she doesn't have those ones and is reporting negative, but she does have a urine infection. So we're having to think a lot more broadly, but we're just sort of making do with this test for now. Although um, for people who work um, in, in, for, for, specialists like you urologists or urogynecologists these are doctors who specialize in looking after the uh, the bladder um, bladder related infection kidney related infections and conditions to deal with the uh, the urinary tract for both men and women um in terms of picking up infections you what they what they recommend or what they do is actually get a fresh urine sample fresh one so not one that your doctor has collected and it's sat for a couple of hours or sometimes even overnight in the surgery no they are getting a fresh urine sample and they're looking at it under the microscope to identify the presence of any germs mm -hmm.